Uh, we came tonight to do an update to County Council on the mental health planning and what we've been doing at Hotel Du Grace Healthcare and what we've been doing with some of our partners like CMHA, Canadian Mental Health Association. And we provided an update to Council on uh, two initiatives that we've asked for funding for. One of them is uh, the creation of a mental health emergency department uh, for our community. Uh, we think that that's uh, something that's very much necessary uh, given the increasing prevalence and volume of uh, mental health clients going into the eMERGE. And the second thing is uh, we've asked for funding for something that we think is quite innovative called the Behavioral Care Outreach Team. Uh, and that team is really uh, an expansion of what we do internally already in our hospital uh, and reaching out to partner with Bruce Crowder's uh, Vulnerable Patient Navigators and to facilitate earlier transfer into long-term care of some of the seniors that we have that can't get placed right now because of behavioral issues. Do you think the uh, new psych facility will help take pressure off the system, help police officers, paramedics? Yeah, absolutely. So we know that um, that uh, the statistics are showing us that uh, only about 30% of patients that go into the emergency department uh, with a mental health complaint or concern are actually admitted. So 70 to 75%, depending on the community and the time, are actually discharged back home into a community service that either we are providing through our crisis and outreach teams or that Canadian Mental Health or other providers are providing. So those, those 70 to 80 percent don't need to be assessed in an emergency department. They don't have a reason to be admitted and they should be and could be uh, more expeditiously cared for in a, a patient-centered and specialized area that deals with mental health clients. And we want to create that specialized environment at our T4 campus up on Prince Road.